This is Jess Williamson, and you're watching Zap Root. The Winter X Games, the place where extreme snowboarders and EMTs come together in perfect harmony, also competes with itself to go green. Each year, the X Games tries to beat its prior efforts to keep waste from landfills. In 2006, over 70% of the event's waste was diverted from Aspen landfills. And this year, the nonprofit Global Inheritance is running the Trash Recycling Store, where you can trade in recycled bottles and cans for cool gear. But if that six pack won't get you that skate deck you wanted, don't worry, because you can earn extra spending points by answering eco quizzes. Even if you can't make it to the X Games, the Trash Tour will be with you at events like Live Earth, The Warp Tour, Sundance and Coachella. Eric Ritz, Executive Director of Global Inheritance, hopes to inspire environmental awareness in the next generation of consumers. So bring your cans and get free stuff! Unless, of course, you're this guy who's going to get something for free. On September 10th, 2009, the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act will come into effect. This law was passed in response to all the extra <clears throat> Goodness, China's been putting into kids' clothes, toys, and pet food. The law outlaws the sale for any product sold to kids 12 and under that has not been tested for lead and phthalates. However, the law applies to all products and is retroactive. So all companies that sell used products like eBay, thrift stores, and Goodwill will no longer be able to sell untested children's products like toys, books, and clothes. Since the cost of testing and monitoring is very high, many secondhand stores will have to send all that stuff to landfills. The law makes sense for new products, but with old products, it's like throwing the baby out with the bathroom. Water, or throwing the tub away before the baby even takes a bath. If you want to let the Consumer Product Safety Commission know what you think, there's a link in our show notes. Want some free stuff? Well, buygreen.com is looking to give it to you. Sign up on our community site, add a blog entry. You can use pics and videos, and the best blog entry this week will receive this. Sponsored by buygreen.com. And don't forget, there's a link in our show notes. And now for some alternative orders. Edmunds recently got to take a ride in the AirPod, what can only be described as a vehicle powered by compressed air. The driver enters the vehicle through the front windshield and the passenger faces backwards. Am I the only one that gets sick during that? The AirPod will cost about $5,000, can do about 45 miles per hour, can spin 360 degrees on one spot, is controlled by a joystick, and basically has no place for airbags, which just goes to show engine makers shouldn't design cars. When asked about the possibility of selling the AirPod in the US, its inventor guy Negri said this. It's not not easy breaking into the American market. It's a particular market and Americans are particular people. And he added, they're always wanting to survive crashes and stuff. Just kidding, he didn't say that last part. And check out this electric Tango drag racing against the Tesla. And as you can see, the Tango spanks the Tesla thoroughly. The Tango is a tandem seat electric car that does zero to 60 in four seconds. The problem is it will set you back about 108 grand. But Clooney's got that between the cushions in his couch and just snapped up one. And besides, it's a pretty useful snowplow as well. Rumors about Toyota making a solo car have been gaining momentum him lately. But recently Toyota has come out and said, what are you guys, high? Solar panels don't make that much energy. Well, not in those exact words. Check out this three-wheeler, straight out of the dark night. It's called the Hawk and would be powered by a 1000cc Honda motorcycle engine. It would give it about as much power as a Honda Civic in a car this small. That just feels fun. But if it was electric, it would be fun and zero emissions. And also there's only one seat. So if Batman and Robin want to ride, they're going to have to get a little cozy. Thanks for watching and come get cozy at zaproof.com. So much of the process of blogging is taking pre-existing pieces of media, like linking to something and then adding your idea on top of it. So I think a lot of stuff that happens in new media sort of comes out of that hip hop creative process. VPC TV is brought to you by ASUS and Intel. You dream it, ASUS builds it, Intel inside. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.